It's been a pretty busy day in the old football world. Thomas Tuchel has now been confirmed as the England manager. It's created quite a lot of uh, mixed reception, isn't it? Which I kind of understand. I do get it. You know what I mean? It's German um, taking over the England manager role. It's not um, what I think a lot of people were hoping for. People, A lot of people were saying, well, you know, saying, why aren't we having an England English manager taking the England job? Which I, I completely get. The only argument I've got against that is I, I don't have anyone to mind that makes me think, yeah, they're ready for the England job. Do you know what I mean? That's the only thing. Um, I just think that, if you know, if you weigh up Graham Potter, Eddie Howe, they just for me, this is they're just not good enough. They're just not at that stage where you'd go, yeah, that they they're the people to lead us forward. Like we we want to upgrade from what we've had in Gareth Southgate, and um, I actually think it is an upgrade. I, I, I'm I actually think we've got, we've got we've got a really decent manager now, someone that's a sort of proven winner uh, to lead the uh, the national side. And I always feel like with this, it's a short term. I always wanted someone like Mourinho for this position or like a Pep because I always thought Pep would be obviously it would be the number one choice. But if you've got so with someone like Mourinho, you know, it's never going to be very much a long term project, but you'd feel like you've got a real good chance of winning something. And I get that feeling with Tuco. I just get that feeling that we've got someone that could possibly win us something finally. Do you know what I mean? So that's where I sit on it. And I just want to give him a go. And I thought he came across really well in his press conference as well. So um, I've always admired him. I think he's, he's, a, he's a great manager. I love that um, when he squared up to Conte in that Chelsea Spurs uh, game. I thought it was, that was pretty amazing. I love that. And uh, yeah, well, yeah, let's see how he gets on. That's my, my view. Um, I, I actually think it's a pretty decent appointment. It'd be interesting to see what you feel. But I, it's definitely divided opinion, definitely. Um, there's certainly a lot of people are very unhappy with it. But I actually personally think we've got a good chance uh, of doing quite well um, with him as manager. But let's talk about West Ham. That's what we're here to talk about. It's not good news. It's not good news uh, surrounding Nicholas Fulkrug, is it? It's just West Ham and strikers. What is it with this football club and strikers? Do you know what? Before I was walking home, work thinking about this video, right, and thinking about West Ham strikers and the last time we bought a striker that was successful. I can't remember it. I, I, I mean, I genuinely can't remember. I, I must have got an out of it, but now it wasn't a striker. He was a winger, converted into a striker. So I, I don't think that can really count. He was great. Don't get me wrong. I was, I was impressed with him in terms of his ability, um, his shooting ability, and and the way he could finish was amazing. But Again, not a striker. I just can't remember the last time. And you, you, you're just going back to sort of in my mind. I mean, I'm, unless someone can correct me, it's like sort of Marlon Harewood kind of time where, you know, we actually bought a striker and that came in as a striker and delivered as a striker. Do you know what I mean? It's been a long time. I mean, and, and, you know, Sebastian Hilaire, all that hype surrounding him didn't work out, didn't fit our system, had to be moved on. Obviously, he's gone on to bigger and better things. And obviously, fairly all bless him, but he, you know, recovered, thank God. Um, Skamaka, all this hype around Skamaka, and we've got Italy's number one striker playing at West Ham. This is going to be yeah, finally we're going to be able to. I remember doing a video on it, feeling like we we got our Harry Kane now. We have got someone that's going to be bashing the goals in for West Ham, and we're going to be able to start competing. No, and this summer, of course, we were hell bent on going for John Duran. I don't want to keep talking about John Duran. I keep getting pulled up on it. Well, I keep mentioning him, but it's hard not to. We're talking about strikers, you know. We wanted to bring him in, and then that fell through because West Ham wouldn't pay the extra three million quid, whatever it was, to get the deal over the line. We then opt to go for Nicholas Fulkrug, who cost twenty five million, I think about twenty seven, something like that, around that kind of figure. It's a little bit mysterious, isn't it? Exactly where much we pay, but it's around that. I think it's about twenty seven million mark. Um, it's just been a disaster. I mean, all right, it's early in the season, we're only in October, so I don't want to, yeah, I'm not writing off the player, it's not his fault, but it's just like it's just typical, you know. He barely kicks a ball for us, goes up on international duty, scores, scores on international duty for, for Germany, he's living near scoring for us yet, and that's it, does himself in training, and then you know, where are we now? Weeks and weeks and weeks down the line, constantly being told that. He's, he's close. He's getting closer. He's going to be... I've done it myself. I've been talking about it. I mean, I'm criticising, you know, myself here on this. Saying that he will be playing. He will be in the squad. We're confident. But, you, can, you know, because that's what we're being told by the club. They're saying that, you know, he's close. He's getting better. He's getting better. Um, then we had the international break. We're still in now, effectively, coming out of it. Um, and I felt this was a great time because it was a good time then to get the player back fit. 
working with Lopetegui, a time with Bowen, and this would be a really good time. And, we, and then by the time we face Spurs, we're going to have a ready and firing fork quicker to come back and do some damage. No, he's not been training. He's, you know, there's no, it's, it's looking bad. It looks like a bad injury. I mean, the update from XWH employee is bleak. It's not good at all. Um, in fact, I've got it here. I was going to put it on my screen, but it didn't work for whatever reason. So um, there's concerns emerging uh, from the club this morning that uh, German forward Nicholas Fulker could be out for longer than first expected. This is the bit that worries me the most. If the player was injured on the first international break and hasn't been seen since, there are fears that this absence could go on for a number of weeks yet. So from this point onwards, we could still be a few weeks off to two plays. Also, it's quite interesting as well, and I, I did notice this when we first signed the player, did look into him about his injury record. It isn't great. It's really bad, actually. Really not a good injury record. He's missed 142 games since he's been a professional footballer. He's 31. So 142 games, that's about three seasons, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, it is. You know what I mean? It's like three seasons worth of games he's missed out of his career uh, through injury. It's just a disaster. And then while this is all going on, of course, we've got John Duran, you know, absolutely smashing it for Aston Villa, you know, signing a new contract and smashing it in the Champions League. And then and there's us that we can't even get our player on the pitch, let alone get him scoring goals. It's really bad. It, I mean, the whole thing, considering we've had a on paper a very <clears throat> positive transfer window, I don't want to take it away from the club, did do well, but the striker situation has been a cock-up, a monumental cock-up. Should have just paid the money and got Duran in. I know people are going to moan at me and say, well, I'll stop going on about him. But I, I, I'm i still annoyed about it. And this is just further annoying me. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I, I want to see Fulcrook do well. I really want people to understand. I really want to see him succeed at West Ham. I, I, of course I do. You know, why wouldn't I? I want a West Ham fan. I want him to do well. But we've got to get him on the bloody pitch. I mean, how on earth is it it's taking this long? How can it go, right, from it's an Achilles injury, it's going to take six weeks to be fully recovered and be playing, right? How can it go from that to then being told by the club, actually, it's far less uh, worse than we expected. It could be out for about a week. Well, it's been beyond six weeks and we're still waiting. And now we're being told it's now likely to be longer. The interesting thing is, is this is a message that's come now from the top of the club. So you know who that will be. Um, says a senior source. Right, sorry, this is what um, he didn't say that. This is the update from X. A senior source has asked about um, the injury and his availability for Saturday. This is what he said, right? He said, at the very best, he might play a few minutes off the bench. He's lost fitness with the injury. And that's that, that was the message he got. Well, there's no way, right? If that is the case, if that's how injured he is, that the best, the best you're going to get is a few minutes off the bench. And there was no way that we're taking him to Tottenham. Because why would you? So it, that ain't going to happen. And I just think that's glossing over it. I just think that's just... I, I don't think that... I think there's a real big problem here because X has even added that the, uh, on his update, we are still led to believe that this is, is he is unlikely to feature on Saturday. So he knows something. He knows X that there's more to this. You know what I mean? This is a, this is more serious than, than we anticipated. It's just typical. I know I'm moaning. I know I, you know, I, I can't change anything. I feel like I'm just venting, but it is like, how much more can we take when it comes to strikers? This football club, how much more can this club continue to cock up recruitment for this position? And it's not like it's Nicholas Fulker's fault, fault, right? He's not done anything wrong. He's got injured. That happens in football. You know, I mean, this mysterious injury is driving me mad. It reminds me of the Max Kilman, not Max Kilman, uh, Max Cornet um, injury. Do you know what I mean? That mysterious, oh, it's something slightly wrong. It's, it's all right, he'll be back. So, no, no, he won't. Oh, yes, he will. No, it just drags on and on and on. You're just like, well, what is it? What is the injury? Get it diagnosed and get it sorted out. Um, yeah, really annoying. We don't, last thing we need, really, because look, I, we've, we've been playing without um, Fort Krug anyway for a while. So it's not that big a deal in that term. And also, we played, obviously, we did well against Ipswich without him. So, I'm not saying, that, oh, my God, that's it. It's a disaster. But we want to get this guy playing. We spent £25 million on him. Do you know what I mean? I want him on the pitch. I'm bored of having players that are injured all the time. We've just bought the bloody guy and now he's been out for the best part of two months. And now we've now got potentially another month, let's say, of him out. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, really frustrating. You can tell I'm getting quite annoyed about it, but it's just, just typical. It's just typical bloody West Ham. Um, 
<clears throat> there's, like, there's a few other things to talk about. I'm going to do some videos later in the week. We've got another one tomorrow about the stadium. There's going to be some changes regarding that. The club are in talks with Newham Council, which is quite interesting. Uh, a few other bits I'll talk about. But yeah, Nicholas Foot Crew, really annoying, really bad news. Not what we needed. Um, it looks like it's going to be rumbling on for a few more weeks at least. Come on, you arms. 